This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. Annuities and perpetuities. Um, and first of all, annuities. Look at example five. A machine will cost forty-five thousand a year, and is expected to generate eight thousand. Sorry, a machine will cost forty-five thousand, not a year. Forty-five thousand is expected to generate eight thousand a year for the following eight years. Cost of capital fifteen percent. Calculate the MPV. Well, you could do it in the normal way. Always, you could uh, write it all down. Oh, it's forty-five thousand outflow now. Uh, one year, eight thousand. Two years, eight thousand. Three years, eight thousand, and so on. And then discount at 15% for one year, for two years, for three years, for four years. No problem, try it, by all means. You'll get the right answer. But it is obviously rather time consuming. And also, what we're doing is each year multiplying the same figure by the discount factor. Well, because it's the same figure each year, Instead of keep multiplying 8,000 by the factor for one year, the factor for two years, we could just multiply 8,000 by the total of the discount factors. I could just multiply 8,000 by the total of all the discount factors for those eight years. And fortunately, in the exam, you're given tables which gives those totals. Now, an equal amount is an annuity. That's what the word annuity means. Equal amount each year. And provided it's an equal amount each year, then again, rather than multiply 8,000 by each individual discount factor, we can get the same result by multiplying 8,000 by the total of them all. And so watch how we set it out and do it. Uh, it's a cost of 45,000 now. Instead of writing down 8,000, we just say it's 8,000 per annum, years one to eight. And when we come to discount, as always, 45,000 now has a present value of 45,000. The annuity of 8,000, well, this is why we've got the second table, discount table. It's headed a annuity table. And the figures there, again, for any rate of interest up to 20%, is giving you the total of the discount factors for any number of years. So, here it's eight years, so if you look at the 10% column, was it 10%? Um, oh, sorry, 15%. If you look at the 15% column, and because it's eight years, the eight year row, that 4.487 is the total of the ordinary factors in the previous sheet for one year, two year, three year, up to eight years. And so the present value of all eight flows is 35.896. And therefore the net present value, well here happens to be negative, at nine, one, zero, four. <coughs> it's negative, so you'd reject. But of course, that's an awful lot quicker, I'm sure you'd agree, uh, than discounting 8,000 separately each of eight times. By all means, try it, you'll get the same answer. But it is time consuming, however, fast you're with your calculator. So if ever you find there's an equal annual flow, then use annuity factors.
It only works when it's an equal amount each year. Uh, just one thing to be careful of, look at exercise six with me. The cost of capital is 12%. It says, what's the present value of 20,000 that's first receivable in four years' time, and thereafter, every year for a total of 10 years? So again, you could list them and say, oh, it's uh, 20,000 in four years' time, five years' time, six years' time, and so on. But more sensibly, it's an annuity, so it's 20,000 per annum. The first receipt is in time four. There are ten in total, so you're going to get it in four years, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. The last receipt is in thirteen years' time. So there's two things to be careful of, and there's the first. You know, it's tempting to put 4 to 14, 4 to 13, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, in total there are 10 receipts. It's an equal annual cash flow, it's an annuity, so I am going to use annuity factors. The only problem is that the tables, they give you the total discount factor for any number of years starting with 1. So it gives the total for 1 to 5 years, 1 to 10 years, 1 to 15 years. I want the total from 4 to 13. And so what we need to do is, at the time we get to workings, we can look at the total for 1 to 13. That's the 13-year annuity factor. Which, what was it? 12%, so 12% column, 13 years, is 6.424. Now that's the total of all the factors from 1 to 13. You know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up to 13. I only want the total from 4 to 13. And so to get the total from 4 to 13, we subtract the total for 1 to 3. If I subtract 1 to 3, I'll be left with what I want, the total for 4 to 13. Well, 1 to 3 is the 3-year annuity factor. And 3 years, it's, again, what was the interest? 12% is 2.402 and therefore the total for 4 to 13 is the difference of 2.204 and now the present value is easy 20,000 times 4.022 is 8440. Uh, so just be careful there. You remember, annuity factors are only relevant when it is an equal amount each year. But be careful when it's things like 4 to 13. Okay, well now let's look at what you might call the ultimate annuity. Annuity, an equal amount each year. But the last bit is something called a perpetuity, where again it is an equal amount each year, but instead of being equal amount each year for five years, ten years, it's an equal amount each year forever. Forever. Uh, now, in real life, of course, um, nothing goes on forever, but uh, it's for so long it might as well be. Uh, let me show how we deal with it. Uh, exercise 7. A machine costs 100,000 and is expected to generate 12,000 per annum in perpetuity. Cost of capital 10%. What's the MPV of the project? Well, first of all, the way we write it, We've got here the original cost is 100,000, an outflow. 
uh, the inflow is 12,000 per annum. But instead of being, um, you know, 1 to 5, 1 to 10, it's 1 to infinity. So you see what I mean when I say it is an annuity, climatic year, but the annuity tables only go up to 15 years. Uh, here it's going forever. Uh, we want to discount it at 10, was it 10 percent? Yes. Well, 100,000 now is 100,000, that's no problem. The annuity, well I'll give you the formula but then uh, I'll explain why. The discount factor for an uh, perpetuity rather is 1 over R, where R is the rate of interest. So, uh, so we write it as 1 over, that 10%, 1 over 0.1. You know, we always multiply by the discount factor. But when you come to do it on your calculator, uh, you're dividing by 0.1. So the present value is 120,000. Now, although a formula is a formula, and you know, you've got to learn that it's easy enough to apply, and <laughs> easy enough to remember, I'll tell you the logic. Just suppose you and I were married. Now, I suppose, I don't know whether you are male or female, but you know what I mean. Suppose I was married, and we've got divorced, and the courts have told me, I've got to pay, to my ex-wife, I've got to pay 12,000 a year, you know, forever. Well, I don't want to keep associated with her. Uh, I'd rather just give her one lump amount now and then forget her completely. I found out that the banks are giving 10% interest. So surely instead of me every year having to pay her 12, why don't I just put 120,000 in a bank account for her? And at 10% a year, that will automatically generate 12,000 a year and I can forget her. And how did I know I needed to put 120 in? I worked backwards at 10% a year to generate 12,000 interest. We'd have to put 120 in the account. Whatever, there is the logic, but there's the formula. Uh, and to finish it, the net present value is 20,000. And of course it's positive, we'd accept. Just one thing to be careful of, and similar to the problem we had in the last bit, um, uh, when we're dealing with annuity, um, is that it, the formula 1 over R is the factor when the flows are 1 to infinity. And so look finally at example 8. Example 8, the rate of interest is 5% a year. What's the present value of 18,000 first receivable in five years' time? and thereafter in perpetuity. So it's 18,000 a year, but instead of starting in one year, it starts in five years. Well, we approach it in just the same sort of way as we did uh, when we had that sort of problem with the annuity. Uh, we say, we know if he was one to infinity, there's no problem. Had it been one to infinity, the total discount factor for 1, 2, 3, 4, up to infinity is 1 over R, 0 0.05, which is what? 1 divided by 0 0.05 is 20. However, that would be the total from 1 to infinity. I only want the total from 5 to infinity. So we need to subtract the total for years 1 to 4. And how can I get the total for years one to four? Surely that is a four-year annuity discount factor at, in this case, it was five oh five percent a year. So if I get my annuity tables, here we are. Uh, four-year annuity, the five percent column is three point five four six. If I subtract that, 
the factor to apply for pi to infinity is 4, 5, 4, 16, point four five four, And therefore the present value of 18,000 times 16.454 is 2961.72. There we are. Uh, obviously that's the present value, you know, if I've told you the costs, subtract the costs, get the MPV, make the decision. But um, just that little thing to watch for. Good.